Management Education Creating a new world in hospitality industry Today we are with a new topic about the guest room available in hotel. The hotel guest room Objectives To be able to Realize and appreciate the importance of the guest room for a guest. Identify, describe, and draw layouts of different types of guest rooms. Objectives, continued. To be able to Define the guest room statuses and their codes. Learn the significance of rules and reportable matters on the guest floors. Understand the layout of guest room corridor and its importance. Importance of the guest room to a guest. A hotel is referred to as a home away from home. There would be similarities in guest expectation, between a hotel and home. The guest rooms should be neat, hygienic, comfortable, private and above all safe. An important consideration here is that the staff need to know about and respect the guest's expectations from a guest room and the staff. Types of guest rooms Single room a room assigned to one person having one bed. Twin room, a room with two twin beds meant for one person each. Hollywood twin room, a room with two twin beds but a common headboard, meant for two people. If the need arises, the beds can be bridged together to make it appear a single bed. Double room, a room with a double bed for two persons. Triple room, a room assigned to three people, may have two or more beds. Types of guest rooms, continued. Quad room, a room assigned to four people, may have two or more beds. Queen room, a room with a queen size bed. King room, a room with a king size bed. Double double room, twin double family room, a room with two double beds meant for four people. Studio room, extension room, a room with a studio bed. Types of guest rooms, continued. Psycho room, a room which has a Murphy or Psycho bed. Mini suite, junior suite, a single large room with a bed and a sitting area. Suite room, a combination of one or more bedrooms and a parlor. It may also contain a bar, a small kitchenette, and other facilities. Connecting rooms, rooms with individual entrance doors from the outside and a connecting door between. Types of guest rooms, continued. Adjoining rooms, room with a common wall but no connecting door. Adjacent rooms, rooms close to each other, may be across the hall or corridor. Cabana, a room adjacent to the pool area, with or without sleeping facilities, but provision for relaxing in a sofa, mainly used for changing. Duplex, by level suite two-story suite, parlor, and bedrooms connected by the stairway. Types of guest rooms continued. Duplex, bi-level suite, two-story suite, parlor, and bedrooms connected by the stairway. Efficiency room, a room containing some kitchen facility. Hospitality suite, a parlor with connecting bedroom to be used by guests to entertain his own guests or for companies offering cocktails during conventions, entertaining, and trade shows. A hospitality room usually contains a bar and occasional tables. The room is let out and charged on an hourly basis. Lanai, a room overlooking a landscaped area, a scenic view, water body, or a garden. It has a balcony, a patio or both. Commonly found rooms in resorts. Types of guest rooms, continued. Parlor, saloon, a living or sitting room not used as a bedroom. Sample room, a display room that is used for showing merchandise. It may or may not be provided with sleeping facilities. Family room, a room with two double beds for two, three or four persons. Penthouse, the room opens onto the roof and may be accompanied by a swimming pool, patio, a tennis court, and other facilities and amenities. Reportable matters on the guest floor. Room status information. Change in number of packs. Damaged or missing hotel property. Pets. Illegal items. Sickness. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please do like, share, comment, and do not forget to click on a red button to subscribe my channel so that you will not miss any of my video.